This is Ray Fearing. Welcome to my short video on how to use a redeem code to download an app from the App Store. When we purchase apps for teachers in our school district, we use Apple's Volume Purchase Program, and that gives us a spreadsheet of redeem codes that we then give to teachers to download the app on their devices. So this is where they go to redeem those redeem codes, and it's also what you can use if you have a gift card from Apple or iTunes. So what you want to do is get to the App Store icon on your device, touch the App Store, open that. Make sure you then are in the Featured window. So down at the bottom, you'll see that the blue is on Purchased. I'm in the Purchased window. These are apps I've purchased. I want to be in the Featured window. So I touched Featured, and now I'm looking at all the featured apps that Apple is um, displaying. Scroll down to the bottom of that window, and you will see the Redeem button in the middle. That's where you go to redeem your code or your iTunes gift card. Touch redeem. You have the ability to scan your iTunes cards now with iOS 7, which is really great. You don't have to enter those numbers hand, hand by hand, um, but you can also enter a code manually, which is what we have to do with redeem codes from the volume purchase program. So what we'll do is just touch where it says you can also enter your code manually. It brings up the keyboard. I'm going to go to um, numbers if I need to. Let's see, I'm starting with a letter, so I'm going to enter my redeem code now. And then I just hit redeem in the top right. And it will begin downloading that app for me. So I get a confirmation here that says you've successfully redeemed your code. It's preparing to install. And so um, it will load that app right onto my device and I can go find it on my uh, iPad. So I can hit redeem another code if I have another code uh, to enter, but I'm done. So I'm just gonna hit the done button. And then I'm gonna close the app store. And I have a lot of screens here. So rather than search through that, I'm gonna search for it and see if it's um, downloaded it yet. It looks like not. Okay, so I'm gonna go and see where it is here, where the other ones were downloading. Um, let's see, it hasn't downloaded yet. So let's go back to the App Store, open up Purchased, and there it is. You can see Geography Drive USA. It's stored um, in the cloud for me, and so I can just touch that little cloud button and it will begin to download. It says I've already purchased it, so I'm not buying it. It's just going to download it with no charge. Okay. And I can see it's starting to download. I've got another app downloading there as well. And now I should be able to find it on my iPad. Um, we could search for it. And it would come up. It's not downloaded yet, so it's not coming up, but it is right here downloading on my iPad. And as soon as my other app downloads, my Geography app will download. And then I have a new app on my iPad. Thanks for watching.